Okay, so on this piece, I decided I got all the extra room down here. It's such nice wood to carve. I decided I'm going to carve another wood spirit on it, okay? So I don't know if I'll record me carving that because I want to show you how I, I'll connect the two beer, the two wood spirits together. Right? It's pretty. It turns out pretty neat. So um, let's just uh, let me just draw this other wood spirit on. So this guy's going to be straight. So. We'll give this other guy a forehead too. Okay, first of all, we're gonna give this guy like a big Fu Manchu beard, right? We'll try and give him some hair, right? There's his hair. And then we'll give him a big, I don't know. Make his beard kind of whoosh. Wrap up and around. So that will be his beard line right here. So we can carve another wood spirit in right freaking here. Okay. Now we'll make this guy, make his nose kind of the same. We'll make this guy's mustache sway off to the side like this guy's beard, like wind's taking it. Whoosh, whoosh, right? Whoosh, whoosh. No, that's not really that blowing that much. Let's do it more. Okay, and this one over here too. So let me carve this one, and then uh, we'll go over the beard and stuff like that. You see? Okay, so I said I was going to carve another wood spirit and combine them all together. Uh, here's the other guy in there. I kind of got to carry it away. <laughs> I still got to cut this guy's lines in, but um, this is what I got so far. I won't, um, I won't uh, kill you guys with the details of carving that the uh, fine hairs. Like I said, I use these roto zips. Cut all the hairs in here, and uh, I still got to cut those uh, pupil lines outside of these eyeballs. I like them because I like the bigger eyeballs because, like the pupils, because they kind of look like the old. Uh, Japanese Oni style kind of deal but yeah I'm gonna spend a good hour and a half carving in the whiskers but I won't film that but yeah so a good point with this piece is if you got a nice piece of wood and you love carving it don't stop just keep on carving man keep going enjoy your time see what happened I just probably spent about uh, 40 minutes carving these but I got lost in the piece that's what art's about. That's what art's about. Getting lost in what you're doing. Forget about everything else that's going on in the world. And concentrate on what you're doing. And another thing, on the uh, giveaway piece that I made, I, I chose, I went beach combing that day. I chose between two pieces of wood. The other one you can see, there's a 5,000 like comment, uh, 5,000 um, subs giveaway. And that's going to be drawn April 30th. But there was two pieces of wood. The first piece I tried was all wormhole. It was a, at that moment I thought it was a shit piece of wood. But I went later the next day, see the piece of wood sitting there, and I said, ah, frick, I'll carve it. It's here anyways. So this is what I carved in it. Half a face. I might, I might, I might uh, stain it and sand the high points. But you know what I mean? That will look cool on somebody's wall. It's art. You can make it whatever you want to make it. My gig is wood spirits. I keep doing them. I want to get better and better and better. You know what I mean? So focus on something that you want to get better and better and better at it. And never give up. Keep trying. Keep going. This, an old shitty wormhole piece of wood. Look how cool it looks now. I like it anyways. Kind of looks like a devil's horn coming up there or something, you know, like, I don't know, whatever. It is what it is. Okay, whisker time. Carve the whiskers. <clears throat> okay, all the whiskers are carved in. See, it's all kind of make it flowing, right? Got some hair in there too coming off. <laughs> whatever, it is what it is. Okay, so, see everything's flowing. 
little ogi spirit in the bottom. What's going on there? I'll touch that part up. But anyways, so when you carve with the cuts all extreme, you get lots of little furs. I'm sure you all know about the carving furs. Lots of people just hit it quickly with a torch. I might hit, hit this quickly with a torch a little bit. But I seen another fellow on a video doing a, doing a video about homemade um, buffing kind of wheels for the Dremel. So this is what I, I've come up with. This will go into the Dremel and I'll hit this quickly with this. Probably at a slow speed. It's just a scotch brake. You know what I mean? I got the real scotch brake. It was like four bucks. But then I got dollar store stuff too. So I don't know. Let's give it a try anyways. See how it works. Okay, so I, I originally uh, filmed carving this uh, whole whole video of the carving, but uh, obviously I wasn't a producer in my past life, or a filmman, or a director, so who friggin knows? I don't even, what will I be in my next life? Maybe a logger, if there's wood left by then, the way the world's going. Um, this scotch bright idea was a, was a great idea. I got it off a YouTube video, man. Follow YouTube videos. Watch carving videos. You'll learn from other carvers, man. That's how, that's how I'm learning. I still watch them all the time. I wish I would have known who made this, uh, scotch bright video because I would like to accredit him, but I just forget. Um, the only problem I had with it, the nut and bolt that I got was one eighth to fit in the Dremel, the Dremel, uh, flex shaft. I had to, to grind down the um, threads a bit, but it fit no problem. It took me two minutes. The only problem I had was the nut and bolt would come loose because it spun the same way as the Dremel. So the, the bolt would come loose, right? So what I need to do is I need to find a reverse nut and bolt thread and then it will tighten itself. You know what I mean? I want to uh, even try this with sand, little pieces of sandpaper too. Just anything to save you money. Those little bits are expensive and they wear out pretty... Yeah, so see, see here you go. Nothing bolt comes loose, right? But no, whatever. Big deal. Anything to save money, make your... Uh, make sanding go by faster? No problem. Um, I really like this piece original. I should have left it. I put oil on it. Yep, this is a western red cedar. You'll see how dark this light color wood goes with like a clear, this is just a clear oil. There's no tint to it. It's natural color. But wait till you see how dark red, yeah, see, look at that. It's a, it's a real beautiful color, but wow, man. Just from like a no tint oil. Um, I, like I said, I wish I left the original, but who gives a crap, right? It, uh, it's still a cool looking piece in my opinion. And uh, I, I sure won't have a problem selling this. I'll stop stock up for next Christmas. But um, I don't know. I hope I hope you're all enjoying my uh, videos. And um, I love uh, I love carving, man. It's arts help save my life. And uh, you know, if, if even if you're bummed out, go buy a Dremel. Go buy the uh, cuts all carving tool and uh, go to town. Watch my watch my first video, one of my, two of my first videos that I've posted. You can see my wood spirits then till now. I think it's been like two years. It's called progress. When you first start, yeah, you're going to suck. But you know what? Who, who cares? Who cares what anybody thinks? Only care what you think. Put your first carvings away so you have something to look back on. You know what I mean? Anyways, I've talked way too much. Take it easy and uh, keep carving and definitely hashtag be real. When anybody says, yeah, I don't know what happened. I screwed up, screwed up on the filming somehow, but uh, you can see the way it turned out anyways. Pretty cool, I think anyways. Mix it up, you know what I mean? 
Jeez, this guy here kind of looks like Jesus. Like the reef, the, the prickle bush around his head or whatever it is, the barb thing. So there it is, guys. Don't forget to sign your work. <laughs>